Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxus uh, 3D course from uh, theory to practice. This is going to be lesson uh, 58, mitigating soft uh, soil settlement using preloading method with Plaxus uh, 3D. If you remember in a previous uh, tutorial, uh, lesson uh, 57, we examined the a consolidation uh, settlement of a soft clay uh, soil using Plaxus uh, 3D and we uh, expected a high value of settlement which was about uh, 30 uh, centimeters and actually it is not acceptable in uh, engineering practice so in uh, this tutorial uh, lesson 58 we will uh, simulate uh, one of the uh, ground uh, improvement technique which is called a uh, preloading method so we will uh, uh, we will simulate uh, this uh, uh, improvement technique in plaxus uh, 3d so what is a uh, preloading uh, preloading is a common uh, solution to mitigate a consolidation uh, settlement uh, which additional load is uh, temporarily applied to the soil uh, before construction to accelerate uh, a high value of uh, settlement so before it means before we construct our building or our uh, proposed uh, structure we accelerate uh, the settlement uh, to uh, reduce the post construction uh, settlement so as we as we can see in here it say this techniques uh, this technique allows most of the settlement to occur before the structure is built so uh, reducing post construction settlement so before for example if uh, if we calculate the consolidation uh, if you calculate the consolidation uh, settlement uh, for example to be about uh, 30 centimeters which is not acceptable so by this uh, method we accelerate all of these uh, settlement before we uh, construct our new structure also uh, these uh, improvement techniques can be combined with uh, vertical drains to uh, further exp expedite the uh, process so in this example we will not use a uh, drain in the next example we will investigate the effect of uh, drains also so uh, this was uh, this was our example uh, from previous uh, lesson uh, uh, we apply we apply 200 kilonewton per square meter uh, and we assume this load comes from uh, this superstructure so before we apply this uh, uh, load we will apply a, a preloading surcharge uh, and to, in this example we will use uh, 305 kilonewton per square meter actually uh, the preloading method should be greater than the loads uh, comes from uh, a proposed uh, superstructure to accelerate most of the post construction uh, settlement Okay, the construction uh, stages in Plaxus uh, 3D uh, will be like uh, this one. We will have initial uh, phase which calculates the initial uh, geostatic stresses in a soil body. After the initial phase, we will apply a preloading and we assume that we uh, apply this preloading in uh, 30 days. Actually, the consolidation will uh, start us from uh, this uh, construction phase. And after that, we will allow the soil to consolidate until it reaches 90 uh, percentage. So in uh, this uh, stage, we will uh, find how many times or how many days or months needs for uh, this uh, soil to reach 90 percentage uh, degree of consolidation so after that we will remove uh, this uh, preloading which we applied before and we assume also the removing of uh, these loaders takes about uh, 30 days 
So after removing this preloading, we will uh, start construction our new building. So we will have in the phase uh, five, we will have excavation and construction of mud foundation and walls. Also, we assume uh, these uh, mud foundation and walls and excavation are built in uh, 30 days. After that, we will apply the uh, loads come from uh, this uh, superstructure, which is uh, 200 kilonewton per uh, square meter. And uh, we assume that this building is uh, constructed in one year. So after that, again, we will, uh, cons we will allow the soil to consolidate until it reaches 90 percentage uh, degree of consolidation. And we will check what is the maximum consolidation uh, settlement at uh, this uh, stage. Okay, I will open uh, Plax's file from previous example, which was uh, lesson uh, 57. Okay, I will uh, save this uh, project under a different name, so it will be a lesson uh, 58. So I click on file and save project as. I will uh, save in lesson 58. And save. Okay, right now this is uh, lesson uh, 58. So uh, first I have to go to a uh, structure. Before uh, running the analysis, I will again uh, select a point at the center of the mud foundation. So I click on select point for a curve. And uh, the center of the mud foundation, as we know, it's located uh, in 0, 0, minus 1 coordinates. And I have to choose a plate. This is the nearest point, node at the center of the mud foundation, and update. Okay, friends, I think right now everything is uh, okay. So we can uh, start analysis. I click on. Uh, start calculation actually it may take uh, a long time that's why i will uh, pause a video and uh, come back and uh, come back again until all uh, construction uh, phases uh, are uh, being finished okay after a long time all uh, phases are uh, calculated uh, successfully without any problem so before we go to uh, uh, calculation results I want to uh, talk about some things in here as we know we apply preload uh, in uh, 30 days uh, after that we allow to consolidate so we can see in here it needs uh, 720 days maybe uh, we add uh, 30 days of uh, removing also so including uh, 30 days of removing the preloading surcharge, it needs uh, 759 uh, days uh, to reach 90 percentage degree of consolidation. So it is about uh, 760 days until this uh, phase, 760 days. If we apply, if we divide to uh, uh, 365 it will be about two two years it will be about two years to uh, reach 90 percentage degree of uh, consolidation by applying uh, this uh, preloading actually it is a very long time maybe or it depends on the project so if we want to uh, decrease uh, this uh, time maybe for example if we want to decrease this time to for example one year or maybe for uh, eight months we have to increase we have to increase uh, the value of uh, surcharge uh, 2 to accelerate uh, consolidation uh, settlement in a uh, shorter time okay uh, we can uh, 
uh, go to calculation results now if I click on consolidation if you remember in previous example uh, the consolidation settlement of a structure of a whole building was about uh, 28 uh, centimeters uh, but in this example we can see the the maximum consolidation settlement if i click on deformation total displacement in z the maximum uh, displacement or maximum uh, settlement of uh, this foundation is about 1.5 uh, centimeters we can see how this happened if i click on uh, curve manager and new if i select a time in x direction and uh, uh, the point or node at the center of the mat foundation if I select a uh, displacement in Z direction and click OK we can see uh, in here when we apply uh, the preloading in uh, 30 days we can see the settlement was about uh, 7 point uh, uh, the settlement was about uh, uh, 70 uh, uh, 70 centimeters and uh, after that we allowed uh, the uh, settlement we allowed the we allowed the soil to consolidate for uh, to, to, to reach a 90 percentage degree of consolidation we can see after that it reaches about 1.3 uh, uh, meters uh, this high value of settlement occur because we apply a uh, high value of uh, uh, surcharge load which is about uh, 350 uh, uh, kilonewton per square meter and after that when we removed uh, the surcharge load some of a uh, settlement reverted and uh, it was about maybe uh, like uh, 10 uh, centimeters so after that when we uh, start uh, con when we start uh, construct a new uh, new building if I uh, right click on this figure and if I remove all these phases so we know when we have excavation in uh, 30 days we know we have a swelling about uh, maybe uh, about five uh, about 0 0.5 centimeters because in preloading there was a lot of compression uh, settlement so after removing the loading and construction uh, of uh, foundation even we have some uh, swelling but after uh, construction of a superstructural load we can see the settlement is about uh, 1.4 uh, centimeters and we allow the soil to consolidate to reach 90 percent degree of consolidation uh, and it was about uh, 1.5 uh, uh, centimeters so in uh, we can also check we can also check uh, the pore water pressure if I click on stresses and uh, pore pressure and uh, excess pore water pressure and take a section okay if I if I uh, if I select uh, the initial phase in here we don't have any uh, excess pore water pressure because we didn't have any surcharge load so when we apply the preloading or surcharge load the the pore water pressure the excess pore water pressure I don't know why it seems like this one Okay, if I close it and again go to calculation results, so if I take a section like this one and select preloading and excess pore water pressure we can see that uh, 
when we apply the preloading uh, in 30 days the maximum excess pore water pressure is 200 uh, minus 282 kilonewton per square meter the minus it means in compression we can see the uh, maximum uh, pore water excess pore water pressure occurs at the center of the clay soil layer so after consolidation after allowing the soil to consolidate uh, to reach 90 percentage degree of consolidation we can see uh, there is still uh, excess pore water pressure and it is about uh, 200 it's about for 24 uh, kilonewton per uh, square meter so uh, after construction of a superstructure lot in 30 days we can see uh, the maximum compression and uh, expansion uh, excess pore water the positive uh, excess pore water pressure means uh, dilation or expansion uh, the negative excess pore water pressure means uh, contraction or compression so if i select the last consolidation phase we can see it is almost uh, zero and we uh, uh, the the maximum uh, the maximum compression or uh, excess pore water pressure is about uh, 0 0.3 so if uh, someone asks why uh, for example if i draw a curve again uh, If someone asks why this uh, high value of uh, settlement happens, for example, it is it reaches about uh, one uh, one point uh, three one hundred thirty centimeters, because actually there is a very uh, there is a very soft uh, clay soil layer between these two sandy soil layer and uh, that's why a high value of settlement is expected for example we uh, ask the plexus to consolidate until uh, it reaches uh, 90 percentage degree of consolidation if we increase uh, this maybe to 99 or 97 uh, it probably uh, maybe increase to more than 1.5 uh, meters of uh, settlement so in this example uh, we showed how can we uh, simulate the application of uh, preloading which is one of the uh, improvement techniques in uh, soil improvement and i hope it was clear and i will also upload uh, this uh, plexus file in the course uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson in uh, next lesson we will uh, we will try to uh, decrease uh, this we will try to decrease uh, this uh, uh, time because uh, two years actually is a long time to uh, to to wait for uh, construction of new project so in the next uh, lesson we will try to use uh, vertical drains to accelerate uh, construction uh, to accelerate a uh, consolidation settlement and uh, this time as well so uh, see you in the next lesson